Hey guys, thanks for tuning in. It's Ajax behind the mic, and today we're going to add swing like a gangster. There's many ways to add swing or shuffle to a beat, but I find this technique to give me the most control. In Ableton, you'll find a box icon below the M at the bottom right side of the screen over here, and that will enable the millisecond range. Let's click that icon, and it's going to open up a display box that's going to show our track delay. You can move these values into positive or negative, if you move it into the positive position, the track will be delayed. Moving it into the negative position will put the track ahead of time. And moving these in a combination of values will give us the desired swing. I got two different beats to preview here. One with no swing and one with swing. Let's take a listen and hear how it affects the track. When we look at the grid view, you can see how the snare is pulled back. And when you listen, you can hear how it sits in the mix better with a delayed hit compared to the robotic version that is right on the kick drum. I'm going to play a second beat here, and I want you to listen to the snare on the kick. With a millisecond pushed into the positive value, you can hear how the snare is delayed after the kick. With no swing, the snare hits right on the kick. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe because it's Margarita Friday. Woo! Yeah!